Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and welcome to Free Game Dev Asset Day. Yes, we've got three free assets for Unreal Engine, plus some for other game engines as well. Uh, and I'm just going to show you the store hands-on first, and I'll show you the assets in action, because there's a lot of weirdness going on this week in terms of the way that these are set up. Now, the first one is actually kind of cool in that it's available for multiple different formats. We haven't actually seen an asset like this yet. This one is available for Unreal Engine and Unity. We've seen that before, but it's also got the raw Maya format versions, as well as the FBX. Now, the downside side to that FBX is sadly it is not um, textured for some reason. I don't know about the Maya one. These two definitely are. So you, if you're using another game engine, you're probably actually better off to import it into the Unreal game engine and then export it out. And then you'll get the textured animated version. I got a guide down below on how you can actually go ahead and do that. Another thing I want to point out to you is this. It is not $2,500 for the professional version. It is not $860 for this version. I am currently on vacation, and apparently the Epic Games Store is localized pricing based off your geographic region. So that is the price in Mexican pesos, if you're wondering. So it's nowhere near that expensive. But this one is available for multiple game engines. That is very cool. But you're going to have to go through some work if you want the textures to work right. So you see here, quick demonstration. Here it is. Uh, inside of Blender, you'll notice, again, no textures, but fully rigged, etc. And here it is inside of Unity, uh, and in this case, fully textured, ready to go. So again, if you want to get this working in like a Default or a Godot or whatever, guides are down below, but you're probably better off to load this one up into, say, Unreal Engine or something, and then export it over. On the topic of Unreal Engine, and slightly weird this week, uh, this is one of the first times I have found an asset that doesn't actually have... So if I go up to the top here, and go to demonstrate it. Uh, so Werewolf over here, maps, is empty. So there's no demo map. I have never seen that for uh, an Unreal Engine asset. Hopefully that's an error and it gets fixed. Although there are demos, so you can go ahead and see like um, how it's set up, fully rigged and so on. Uh, so they're fully set up and configurable and ready to drag and drop into your game. It's just there's no demo level for me to show you this time, which is a little bit weird. So the next one we got here, this one is, and I'll go back over to the store page. Uh, this one is, this guy right here, this is the Magic Spline plugin. Now, this one is also interesting. It's a cool plugin for sure, uh, in that it enables you to use splines to do all kinds of things. Uh, what kind of things? Well, you've got, again, you can instantiate things along the lines. You can do twists of them, bends of them, and so on. Um, so it enables something called a spine, spline mesh actor. This is an engine plugin, by the way, and it works for pretty much every version of uh, the Unreal Engine. Uh, so it enables you to do things like you could create fences or chains or so on along a spline. So it gives you new powers to the uh, Unreal game engine. Again, it is an engine plugin. Uh, once you've installed it, go back over to here, you will see this is the demo. It shows you some of the things you can do with it. So you can have uh, imperfections along your your mesh. All right, that's why my navigation isn't working. Uh, so you see here, a number of different things you can do with it. Three layers with randomization across it. So if you want to randomize instantiation of a mesh for like a line of trees or something, you can do it that way. So it, it is a powerful mesh instantiation tool along splines. And again, you've got things that can do twists and bends in them. Uh, you've got physics support and so on. So a, a number of tools available for this guy as well. This one is installed as an engine plugin. And you're going to think because it's called Magic Spline that that's where you're going to find it. But that's not the case. It's actually under spline mesh tools, I believe it was. So, so yeah, spline mesh editor. So that's where you're going to find it. So when you go to install it, after you install this, this threw me off anyways, because you don't want to go ahead and enable it, but it's not going to be where you thought it was. It's again going to be here. I apparently I have caps lock on. Uh, spline mesh editor. So the name magic spline is just a rando name. It's got nothing to do with the rest of this one. So that uh, is, again, an engine plugin uh, that works for pretty much every version ever. We have the Werewolf, and then we have one other here. This is the warehouse environment uh, from Scans Matter. Again, this is not $17,000 for the Pro version. Uh, it's, um, I know, I guess uh, still pretty expensive, actually. I guess that would still be about a thousand bucks. So you're going to want to go ahead and grab these. Even if you're not using them yourself, pick them up. Uh, because, hey, they're free. Uh, you can export them out to other engines. Again, I do have guides showing you how you could do exactly that. And let's go on over here. We will load that demo up for the final version there. So that is the warehouse environment right here. This one, fortunately, does have a demo map. We'll go ahead, load that scene up. So if you need to have a warehouse environment, so if you're creating uh, a warehouse full of werewolves and you wanted to wrap it around with dynamic chains created by splines, hey, they got you covered because this does 
All of those things for this month's giveaways. I'll just pause while this finishes loading. So here we go. This is our warehouse. Let's go into game mode, demonstrate it. And I, by the way, I'm not using my primary computer. That's why things are a little sluggish. That gives you an idea of what this is all about. And then let's do a quick look at the overview map. You get an idea that go together to create this asset. And there you go. There is everything involved. So if you got need shelves for your world or um, assets to fill it in with, got a variety of different barrels and crates and forklifts and so on. Uh, and then we got some blueprinted pallets that you can control how they're uh, done. So if they're wrapped with uh, sell your app or whatever else, uh, you can control that value there. So uh, that is this month's giveaway. Quick recap. Once again, uh, we do have the warehouse environment over here. We have the Magic Spline engine plugin, uh, which again, doesn't have the name Magic Spline when installed, but instead has Spline Mesh Actor, which I found very confusing at first. And then finally, we have the werewolf. The cool thing about werewolf is once you've picked it up, you can actually download it as um, a Unity asset package as an Unreal Engine project, but also you can get the raw Maya version and sadly an untextured but ready to go and rigged FBX version, which you can use in any game engine you wish. By the way, there are a number of bundles going on right now as well. They will all be linked down below. And again, if you want to export these from one engine to another, you've got these covered there too, because you've got, um, again, a number of guides available in the comments down below. So let me know what you think of this bi weeks freebie giveaways. Are you hoarding all these? Let me know, comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.